Hey, my name is Pamela Stewart. I'm an author of young adult novels of science fiction and fantasy. And I am today going to talk to you about three of my favorite writing books of all time. Here they are. Stay tuned for more wonderful information. All right, the first one I have to talk about today is Techniques of the Selling Writer by Dwight Swing. This one is like my Bible. I got this when I first started writing back well, not so much writing, but when I started writing professionally about 10 years ago. So it's been a good long time. Um, in 2008, when I really, really got serious about my writing career, someone suggested this to me. And it's a very old book. Uh, I have to say it's from the 1940s. So a lot of the language in here is very dated. So if you can get beyond that, it does go into great depth of like scene and sequel, which so many writers have not mastered. It's how to keep your tension high in your books how to make characters that the audience will connect to and they will uh, express their emotions so that you can feel them when you're, re when you're reading them. Every point of view character should connect with your audience and this tells you how to do that. So I, I always would wonder when people would be like, well, you know, show, don't tell. How? How? How do you do that exactly? You know, you can read all the, all the novels but you're not sure exactly. It's like, magic. This book, well, well, it shows you behind the scenes. It's like, how do you do it? This book will tell you. So I would highly suggest if you are looking to get something that is going to probably save you a year or two in effort, <laughs> this book will do that. And I'm going to put a link in the bio below. So feel free to pick it up. And if you have questions, you know, email me. I have an email that I'm going to put below here and I'm available via social media or comments below. But this book, another good for the basics and I actually go back to this whenever I'm plotting a new novel. Goal motivation conflict. You know this, you need this in every book but it seems very basic but when you get down to it, it really isn't. Not, most people don't have strong goals or motivations for their characters and then they forget about the conflict altogether. This book will actually break down things like Star Wars and Wizard of Oz, things that are very highly relatable so that you can see how it was done on these classics and then you can apply it to your own books. It's got some nice graphs you can use and I'm very graphically minded as well. This helps me get it all out before I have to actually start writing. <laughs> Book number three. It took me a lot longer to get to this one and I again pull this out every time I'm plotting a new uh, book. Um, it's called The Plot Whisperer Workbook specifically and by Martha Alders. She has a bunch of other books and they're all good but this one by far is the best. Some of her other books are, they kind of like ramble and they have a lot of information that is not as necessary and the point gets kind of lost in the, in the fluff, in the description. With this one, it gets right down to business. It has very easy to follow exercises that you can fill out. Um, I actually don't write in the book, so I use a separate piece of paper so I don't ruin my book because I love books. But it even goes through here and says like, what's your character's greatest strength? What does your character hate? What does your character love? I actually do that for all my characters before I start so that I have a good feel for who they are as a character. And then this graph right here is, is wonderful for plotting out your book. It says the beginning of the end. It kind of goes over your classic structure, the climax, the crisis. I gotta tell you, after reading this, I actually got this about halfway through my second book. <laughs> but um, it made life after this book so much easier. And I figured out what some of my writing problems were by, by reading this. So hopefully this will save you years of time and effort. And this also, I will put a link in the bio right below here. Um, and if you have any favorite writing books you'd like to share, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I'm always, I'm a craft book junkie. I'm always looking for new stuff. I'm always looking to enliven my mind and to have new ideas of how to express story because I feel like by stories we connect with each other the best. It's been wonderful talking to you again and I'd love to hear your comments. If you like to see videos like this, please subscribe. Follow me on the basic social medias. These are also linked below on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, have a good day and I'll see you next time.